Hi, John Valvano here. I'd like to demonstrate the DC motor controller that I've built. Here is the DC motor and the two wires that are here closest to the shaft are connected to the motor and these two wires that go under the cap uh, are connected to the tachometer. And I have a Darlington transistor here, a PWM output, and that path uh, can adjust the power delivered to the motor. Uh, the other two wires here will go to a threshold detector and generate a square wave and that square wave frequency is a function of the motor speed. And so the microcontroller can adjust the delivered power and measure the resulting speed. And then there's an integral controller running on my launch pad uh, which will try to adjust the speed to a constant amount. All right. Let me zoom in and show you the display. On the display, I am plotting both the desired speed and the measured speed. And you can see that it's approximately 15 RPS. And I'm going to push one of the buttons now and increase the set point to 20 RPS. And now my set point has been increased to 20 RPS. And let me increase it again. And now my set point is 25 RPS. And you can see that it, uh, in a couple of seconds, uh, the motor spins faster, such that the new speed is now about 25 RPS. And that uses an integral controller. So in summary, we have a DC motor controller. And the goal is to spin the motor at a constant speed. And that speed uh, is measured by the microcontroller. And then it uses that to adjust the pulse width modulated output uh, to either increase or decrease power to the motor.